Is this just another diode laser? Or is there more than meets the eye? Stick around because this machine might surprise you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brett and this is my laser garage. My wife and I run a full-time laser engraving business out of our home, and this channel is all about helping you succeed with your laser or CNC business. Today, we're checking out the ACMR P3 2-in-1 laser. And what makes it stand out is its dual laser module, which combines a 10-watt diode laser and a 2-watt infrared laser. That gives you the flexibility to engrave or cut a wide variety of materials, including metals, not something most gantry-style diode lasers can do. But how does it actually perform in a real-world shop? Let's find out. Let's kick things off with the specs. The P3 uses a core XY motion system, which gives you fast, precise movement, great for detailed engraving and cutting. The laser head features both a 10-watt blue diode laser and a 2-watt infrared or IR laser, and switching between them is as easy as flipping a switch. You get a quiet external air assist pump, which does a great job of clearing smoke and debris to improve cut quality. The 400 by 400 millimeter or 15 and three quarter inch by 15 and three quarter inch working area is generous and the built-in camera makes positioning a breeze. It's fully enclosed with a class one safety rating, protecting your eyes and keeping your work environment cleaner. You also get an exhaust fan and internal LED lighting. So you always have a clear view of your workspace. The P3 is compatible with Lightburn, Laser Gerbil, and Acmer's mobile app. I personally use Lightburn for everything and setup was seamless. The Find My Laser function detected the P3 immediately and it was up and running within minutes. Now that we know what this machine's all about on paper, let's get to some testing. First up, I ran multiple Lightburn material test cards using the 10 watt diode module to dial in cut settings. If you're new to lasers, this is a feature that lets you find optimal settings by testing different speed and power combinations. Super useful whether you're just getting started or trying out a new material. I began with two millimeter basswood, which is beginner friendly, and Acmer even includes a few sheet in the box. The P3 had no problem handling this. Clean cuts, no charring, smooth edges. Then I moved on to various three millimeter options, which I knew would be a bit more challenging for a 10 watt machine. I was actually impressed. The P3 delivered consistent cuts at around four millimeters a second, which is solid for a 10 watt laser. The air assist really helps here by clearing the debris and keeping burn marks to a minimum. Here's a shot of each of the test cards I ran, so you can get an accurate feel for what this laser can do. First, we'll look at the two millimeter basswood, then we'll move on to the three millimeter MDF, three millimeter walnut veneered MDF, and three millimeter birch plywood. With those settings dialed in, it's time to test what I learned on a real project. For this test, I loaded up one of our best-selling digital files, my wife's laser-cut flower bouquets. This project is a favorite of mine because it's the perfect blend of simple to make, but high impact when it's done right. We actually gave these bouquets to our kid's teacher at the end of the school year, and the reactions we got were awesome. Everyone really loved them. They're unique, memorable, and look like something straight out of a boutique. But what makes this project even better is how customizable it is. For these versions, I use three millimeter MDF with walnut, white oak, and maple veneers. But you don't have to stop there. You can mix and match materials to fit the look you're going for. Try hardwood veneered material for a more natural feel, or alternate contrasting woods to give it extra depth. You can even spray paint the flowers, stain the stems, or use paint markers to personalize them even further. It's really up to you and the options are many. And here's a great option for gifts. The design includes a vase area, which is a great place for personalization. You can engrave a name directly onto the wood or add some raised lettering for a more dimensional look. Either way, it adds a personalized touch that makes these perfect for Mother's Day, teacher's appreciation, memorial gifts, birthdays, or anniversaries. But ultimately, I think this is a great test for the P3 because the design requires precision cutting. Small cutouts like what's designed on these files can be tricky sometimes and will definitely put the P3 to the test. With the settings I dialed in earlier, the P3 had no trouble at all. Even the fine petals and tight corners cut cleanly with minimal edge burning. If you want to try this project yourself, you can grab the file and even the material I used on my Etsy store, which I'll link in the description below. 
I've got a wide range of digital downloads available from functional items to seasonal decor, tested and ready for diode and CO2 machines alike. Plus, I'll leave an affiliate link for all the other materials I used just in case you're interested in picking some up and helping out the channel. Next, I tested the engraving capability of the 10 watt diode module. One of the advantages of diode lasers is their small laser spot size, which allows for more detailed engraving, especially on photos. And while a 10 watt diode may not be the greatest at cutting, this small spot size will definitely be an advantage when it comes to engraving. Of course, I started with a quick material test card just to get a feel for where the setting should be. Then attempted some raster photo engravings on the craft plywood that Acmer provided with the P3. The results? Really sharp, actually. It took a few tries, dialing everything in, but once I got it, the P3 held crisp detail in the darker tones and captured the contrast really well. After I saw the results on my small test, I scaled up and tested a larger photo, and it held up beautifully as expected. With the right dither settings and resolution tweaks in Lightburn, this laser can definitely produce frame-worthy photo engravings. Now let's talk about what sets the P3 apart the 2 watt infrared laser. This opens the ability to mark on metals, something standard diode lasers can't do without the assistance of marking sprays. I ran some tests on a few small pieces, like a stainless steel dog tag, a pet collar tag, and some brass. The results were actually really solid. I got dark, clean marks on stainless steel and soft gold tones on the pet tag using Acmer's recommended settings, which are included in the laser packaging. I found this to be really helpful because Although I'm familiar with fiber and UV Galvo lasers to mark metals, this was my first time using a gantry style IR laser. And here's a fun little project idea, brass decision coins. These are small round tokens engraved with something like yes on one side and no on the other, or names like I chose to do. You flip them to make a decision in a fun and kind of silly way. They're simple to make and actually sell pretty well on Etsy from what I understand. It's the kind of project that's not only fun to make, but makes for a great little add-on item or impulse purchase. If you're doing markets or just building out your Etsy offerings, I would definitely consider keeping a few of these on hand in your product lineup. Overall, the IR module isn't lightning fast like a fiber galva, but with a little patience, it produces really clean results for one-offs, small batch items, or personalized gifts. The quality is definitely worth the extra time and convenience. So with all the testing completed, let's break down the pros and cons now that we've seen this machine in action for a while. Let's start with the pros. Number one is dual laser capability. This is the biggest win in my opinion. With both diode and IR lasers built into one head, you get the flexibility to handle a wide range of materials, including wood, stone, cork, opaque acrylic, and many varieties of metals. Number two. The Core XY motion system provides smooth, fast, and accurate motion. It's ideal for both engraving and cutting, especially when working on fine detail. Number three, the P3 is fully enclosed with a class one safety rating. You can run this laser without additional goggles thanks to its enclosure. It's safe, quiet, and better suited for indoor workspaces or shared areas. Number four, the built-in camera makes job alignment much easier and the LEDs give great visibility. After a quick light burn calibration, the camera was extremely accurate and I'm actually surprised how well it did work. Number five, the included air assist works better than expected. It's also very quiet, which is great for small shop environments. Number six, setup was nearly instant. By using the Find My Laser feature with light burn, the laser worked right out of the gate and also the P3 plays nicely with light burn for cutting, engraving, and alignment. In other words, all of the laser's advertised features work perfectly with Lightburn. Number seven, you're not left buying a bunch of add-ons just to get started. The P3 includes everything you need to start running projects right away. Tools, air assist, materials, enclosure, all of it. But if you're looking to upgrade, Acmer also offers various additional laser modules for extra cutting power, a rotary attachment, air purifier, and even a conveyor system if you need some additional work area. Now, I've yet to find a perfect laser out there, so let's look at some of the cons of this machine. Limited cutting depth. This is of course expected from a 10 watt diode module, but you're realistically limited to about three millimeter wood or MDF when it comes to cutting. Anything thicker either won't cut reliably or will take too long to be practical. 
Honestly, I'm not sure why Acmer chose to design this with a 10 watt diode rather than say a 20 watt diode, because 20 watt modules offer a great increase in cutting yet still engrave exceptionally well. Number two, the IR laser is great for marking metals, but it's not for deep engraving. Don't expect fiber level results here. It's ideal for tags, jewelry, and nameplates. Not industrial grade work, of course. Number three, metal marking speed is noticeably slow. For example, it took about 20 minutes to engrave one side of the brass decision coin I made. But for small batch production or one-off custom jobs, it works very well and quality is ultimately what matters. So what's the verdict? The Acmer P3 2-in-1 isn't just another diode laser. It's a feature-packed, versatile system that's beginner-friendly, but powerful enough to grow with. The dual laser setup opens up more materials than most machines in its class, and it's quick to set up and very easy to use. If you're looking to cut small craft wood projects, experiment with photo engraving, or start marking metals like jewelry, this is a very strong option. And with various upgrades Acmer has available, you've got room to expand as well. As a beginner machine, this laser checks a lot of the boxes. But let me know what you think. Drop your questions or comments down below and I'll get back to you right away. And if this video helped you out, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you don't miss the next upload. I've got tons of more content coming up very soon. You're not going to want to miss it. And remember, if you need laser-ready project files like the flower bouquet I showed earlier, head to my Etsy shop. I've got a growing library of proven files and even laser-safe material that works great with machines just like this. Thanks for stopping by the garage. I'll see you on the next one.